Nanjo no nanako o hiro wa O hiro wa ma she te imasuka me Kori api hi 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 Episode 281 I believe if I'm not mistaken I think that I got that letter that title right So welcome back to another night Another day, another evening And welcome to what you were seeing once again <laughs> So many episodes <sighs> Why does there have to be so many episodes of this freaking show? Alright, well Seriously, I mean Anyways, welcome One and all To Dungeon on an Akohirawahu What's this? A Denmachi original story that has yet to receive a, an anime adaption. What? Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, cool. I like that. Yo. Goddess Campbell. Campanella, uh, Campanella. Interesting. What's Bell's one called? Is it just... Interesting. Okay, I like that. That's some cool news. That's pretty cool news, actually. So it's gonna get a, an anime adaption. This is that we're gonna get more anime adapted thanks to Memoria Fris. That's really exciting. Alright. Well, anyways. Uh... Wow, okay, what else did we just get? Familiar Royale. It's another one of these things, alright. Well, let's, uh... Huh, you know how much I enjoy the classic, so let's just do this. Well, I do some exercise. Yeah. So, so Really? Is that Makoto? That should be Makoto's voice. Right? It should be. I mean, I'm just assuming, but I know some voices now. Yeah. Your boy knows things. Oh, you guys are making chocolate too. They're wearing stuff. How do you not know each other? Oh, that's right. Oh. The events are connected. I forgot. <laughs> so you guys should know each other, but I Exactly. Oh yeah, these are the these are the other two people. We have all we uh, almost have all the main characters in the event already. Perfect. I don't know why, but Chagu. Oh, Cam is just that. Chagusa looks the same. I mean, don't don't at me at this. I don't hate Chagusa. But as for she looks like this, she she wears she wears it seems like she wears the same exact thing every event, but I might be wrong. Um, but I just see that slight pink and everything. So. I see it in that slight in that slight pink. Um. <laughs> no, there's way more. There's way more. Um. It's enough for for normal people, but not crazy obsessed people. Yes, I is. Yeah, well, it's. Yeah, just uh, you know, just give us all your money and uh, we'll. We'll buy the, the cocoa seeds. <laughs> like boiled minotaur? Where the hell have you eaten? 
Yeah, like, what the hell do you eat? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sacrilege against chocolate. The place that is heard, Princess Hazard. That's the fertility must be a scary place. She's mumbling about where they eat, you idiot. Whatever. Whatever. Anyways. Okay, I guess I can't stop talking. Ah, the references! Oh my god, the references from, um, from Spectacular Labyrinth and just the original stuff. The crossovers are insane! <laughs> Yay! That was a surprise. That was a surprise. Something. They're planning something. Yep, is. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> oh my god. This absolute potato head. Is this is this whole event just about making chocolate? Because I swear, I mean it's a great concept, but there. I, 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 mean, I mean, I mean, you know, I don't know, I, I don't know. I'm not even gonna. No, you, okay, they just freaking went over straight to her. Uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, true that. <laughs> Something. <sighs> Ooh. Preston Woman and the Lucky Familia. Oh. Talking about. Yeah. I get it. Uh. Yeah, but it's cool about the whole anime adaption thing. And the other thing I wanted to talk about that I'm trying to think of. Oh, yeah. Um. It's not terrible that if this whole event is just around this. We have a lot of events to plow through. Um. And so I, I don't hate if this event is just about making chocolate. Um. I mean, it's funny, which is what's good. That, that, that's what I like about Memory of Race is that they make something like what I like about these events is that now um, they made a uh, you know like the, like they're doing right now you know a whole like kind of adventure for making chocolate and just like a very simple complex um, uh, concept that they try to like stretch out with the characters that they have. And I don't hate that, you know? It's, uh... It's, uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a different formula. Um, that saying I don't really remember what the formulas were last year. Only knowing that in the summer there was a lot of love kind of plots and, um, lovey, lovey dovey events and then some adventurous events. And then it kind of just scaled a little down with the amount of New Year events. And, I mean, the, the amount of Valentine events are, are good, and, you know, you know, it's just, it's just stuff. Um, I will say the, the, um, a New Year, no, not a New Year, uh, one of the New Year events, were, I, all of the New Year events are really cool, at least at level 74, um, yo, yet than that, but this, uh, you know, 
all the events, you know, I can't blame them for, like, testing and trying out different things. Um, you know, it's, it's original, I, I think. I don't, I don't watch many TV shows, but, or anime, because I haven't watched anime in a while. I mean, I'm technically watching it here, but, um, I don't know any of the new tropes, so if, there's a trope of, uh, of the main characters in a, in a TV show spending a whole, I mean, I, I would, I would easily call an event probably like a two-parter, four-parter, so if there was like four episodes dedicated in one season of a show just to making a piece of chocolate or chocolate or chocolates for a person that's forcing them to make chocolates for them, um, well, that, okay, I gotta, I'm gonna do something while, while I'm talking about this, uh, this can go a lot of ways, where, I like the twist of, of course, there's the twist here where it's, oh yeah, Loki, you know, there's actually a person that, because now that I'm thinking about it, there was a plot. <laughs> I remember. I do remember watching a show uh, last year in the summer when I was uh, in New York um, with my grandma, who's coming Monday over here. And uh, when I was with Chloe and all that, and she was watching. You know, if you don't know Chloe, Chloe is my little cousin, my baby cousin. Uh, she's adorable, and she's like uh, basically the next uh, Albert Einstein over here. Um. Or whatever. And, yeah, uh, she was watching some shows, and, you know, I kind of just stay there, you know, working on whatever I do. And I think I was watching one of uh, one of the episodes of her shows, or whatnot, you know, because, of course, I was with her, and I was relaxing with her. Um, and she was, and it's like, I forgot what the show was called, but it had a similar concept to this, where... There was like this, um, of course it was a Valentine's episode kind of thing. Um, but it's like someone wanted, like someone had a crush on this person and then they made, uh, they, they needed to find ingredients to make chocolate for that person and then I forgot how it ended, but, I mean, that, that, that's the concept. But, this is a better concept with this, of course. Because I know the characters like a, a, like a hundred percent more, and because I get the jokes, and because literally I understand every single reference uh, that they've made, especially with the pumpkin head and all that. Um, but the other thing is that the twist of oh yeah, ice you know of course ice serves sort of Loki. Or is, you know, a child of Loki, but Loki, you know, Aeus isn't like a servant to Loki. You get it? Um, and so it's kind of funny where it's like, because essentially what it is is that, like, with Hesty and Belle, you know, Hesty is the mom of Belle, which, eh, and then also Loki is. The mom of Aeus, basically. Look at however way you want. I mean, they're called Familia, so you really can uh, disagree with my <laughs> with my thoughts here. But um, but what I was saying basically is that I like the twist of that someone's forcing you to do something that you really like. Because you're just, you gotta be that dumb to do it. And I mean, I mean, uh, give a hand to Aeus for being, uh, a real, uh, potato head. And, you know, of course, that's what happens. And, you know, I don't hate it. I don't hate this event. Um, and that's, that's the whole point of this whole little rant. Is to say that I like the twist that they put on it. Where it's not like... Oh, yeah, because here I'm thinking, like, oh, man, Wallenstein, Valentine. It's either going to be about Belle, like, baking cookies or trying to, you know, like, fall in love or trying to do something with Ace or whatever, try to catch her attention. But no, it's just Ace, you know, without Belle, and then she's 
just trying to do something stupid with other supporting characters. So it's, you know, even though I could have figured out that it wasn't going to be with Belle, um, the, the other thing I was thinking of, I don't know if I already mentioned this, but before I even started playing this event, I thought Wallenstein Valentine was going to probably be like, I don't know, like, because uh, it, because it had that, uh, it had that, um, what do you call it? It had that, um, not repetition. Uh, it had that little, it had that rhyme that I, it had, it had like one of those rhyme titles, rhyming titles, and the other, and like the only time I remember, uh, rhyming titles were... I mean, there's a lot, but the one most memorable was Arario Outbreak. Um, of course, Wallenstein Valentine, you know, of course, at the end, and then Arario Outbreak, and, you know, you know what I mean. Um, but I remember how Arario uh, Outbreak was, like, the zombie stuff, and, you know, Bette was the main potato head there. Of course, with Loki and Riveria, and uh, I forgot who else there was, and Belle was the first victim, and that and this. Uh, and so I thought it was going to be something like that. But with, um, but with Ice, where she baked some chocolates, like, before the event probably even started. Um, and of course, like, I, I don't know how it would come about, but she would, like, maybe the whole Loki familiar was going to host, like, an event, right? Like, like, we're playing an event. Uh, like, an event in, like, the town square or something of Arario, and the city square of Arario, and, you know, there would be, like, chocolates, and, uh, or, or it could just be set up for a banquet, a banquet, a, a banquet, and everyone just, you know, eats the chocolates because they're complimentary, and then, with those chocolates, uh, maybe, maybe, Loki, or, it was either gonna be, like, Loki, maybe, you know, in the process of making the chocolates, might have dipped in like a love potion sort of dealio, you know, just for her. And then it probably went, and since everybody had the chocolates, everyone was going to be attracted to Aeus. But then the only one that didn't have the chocolates were probably going to be Belle and um, Hesse. And I know that that's not right because, of course, Makoto and Chigusa and Aina. And Ryu are all on the front cover, and, no, and none of those are mentioned in my possible theory of what this could have been. Um, but it still would have been a little interesting if it could have, like, reflected Arario Outbreak in a way, but kind of, you know, use that Valentine aspect where Wallenstein Valentine, you know, it could be like every, like, she could be everyone's Valentine kind of thing. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. So. And of course, Belle and Hestia would have to be the ones to, like, save her, so it'd be, it'd be another, like, zombie busters team, I, I think that's what their, uh, team name was called in Rari Outbreak, where, of course, it's, like, another pair-up with, what was it, Bete, Loki, and then, is that the Riveria or Ice first, so... I just think it would be that, I thought, for some reason, I thought it would be that, um... But, you know, I don't know. Um, but I just think, I just think uh, what really came out of this event um, was probably a lot sort of easier to write, uh, which I don't have trouble with. Um, you know, considering this is an event. Uh, and that some events are, you know, like, really huge and really small. Reveria is a level 75. Um, you know, usually when I, you know, because I, I don't write a lot of short stories. I mean, I write books. Um, but if I were to write a short story, I mean, I would, I were, I would, I would, like, write a little trope. Like, I'd start off with a trope and then break it sort of thing. Um... And this, and this is kind of what it did. Uh, this is kind of what this event is doing. But in a way where I thought it was going to go to Aurario Outbreak. And instead, just becoming something completely original. Um, 
Which, again, I don't hate. So, good for them. Good for... Good for them. I'll, I'll give them that. I uh, just want to quickly check something with the events. Also, it's going to be 2019 in the, in the minutes bar right there. All right. So, let me just check something. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So... There's less than six days for this event to end. So tomorrow what I'll do is that I'll do levels 13 through 18. And then Saturday, I'll do... Um, I'll think about it. Anyways, <laughs> uh, of course, we have 5,000 iris, uh, which isn't a lot. Um, and, um, I think I'm going to end this episode off here. Yeah, and, uh, you know, of course, um, the heart of the day goes to, um, did anyone got, like, get extra hearts at all, or? Not yet. I don't believe anyone got extra hearts. Oh, yeah, that's right. We were supposed to give one to Tion. There you go. Tiona and Tiona, uh, because they're both potatoes. Anyways, that's going to be all for this episode of Dan Joan Onanako Ohiro Amashikatu Masuka Memoria Frisu, episode 281. And I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, for more and more and more and more episodes of Memoria Frisu. But until then, thank you guys for watching. Arigato gozaimasu. And say, 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 say,